Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a young man named Siddharth. Siddharth was known for his restless spirit and his insatiable thirst for knowledge. Despite being born into a family of modest means, he harbored dreams of discovering the secrets of serenity and mastering the art of mindful living. From a tender age, Siddharth showed a keen interest in the teachings of the wise men who occasionally visited their village. He would sit at their feet, absorbing their words like a sponge, eager to understand the mysteries of life. His parents, although perplexed by his unconventional pursuits, supported him wholeheartedly, believing that their son was destined for greatness. As Siddharth grew older, his thirst for knowledge only intensified. He delved into the scriptures of various religions, seeking wisdom and enlightenment. But despite his efforts, he found himself increasingly disillusioned with the world around him. The villagers engrossed in their daily struggles seemed oblivious to the deeper truths that Siddharth sought. One evening, as Siddharth sat beneath the shade of a towering banyan tree, pondering the meaning of existence, a gentle breeze stirred the leaves above him. In that moment, a revelation washed over him like a cool wave on a hot summer day. He realized that the key to unlocking the secrets of serenity lay not in the pursuit of knowledge alone, but in the cultivation of mindfulness and awareness in every moment. Determined to embark on this new path, Siddharth bid farewell to his family and set out into the world guided by nothing but his inner compass and an unwavering resolve. For days he wandered through forests and across rivers, seeking a teacher who could help him unlock the secrets of mindful living. Finally, after weeks of relentless searching, Siddharth arrived at the outskirts of a tranquil village nestled amidst emerald green hills. There he heard whispers of a wise monk who resided in a secluded monastery on the outskirts of the village. Rumor had it that this monk possessed profound wisdom and was revered by all who sought his counsel. Determined to meet this revered monk, Siddharth ventured into the heart of the village and inquired about the whereabouts of the monastery. With directions in hand, he set off once again, his heart brimming with anticipation. As he approached the monastery, Siddharth was struck by its serene beauty. Perched atop a lush hillside, surrounded by towering trees and fragrant flowers, the monastery seemed like a sanctuary from the chaos of the outside world. With each step, Siddharth felt a sense of peace wash over him, as if the very air around him hummed with the energy of mindfulness. Finally, he reached the entrance of the monastery and was greeted by a kindly old monk who welcomed him with a warm smile. I have come in search of wisdom, Siddharth said, bowing respectfully to the old monk. I seek to master the art of mindful living and uncover the secrets of serenity. The old monk studied Siddharth for a moment, his eyes twinkling with ancient wisdom. Then with a nod of approval, he beckoned Siddharth to follow him inside the monastery. For days, Siddharth immersed himself in the teachings of the old monk, learning the ancient practices of meditation, mindfulness and self-reflection. Under the old monk's guidance, he discovered the profound truth that true serenity could only be found within oneself through the cultivation of a calm and focused mind. As the weeks turned into months, Siddharth delved deeper into his practice, finding solace in the simple yet profound teachings of the old monk. Together, they would sit by the lotus pond in the monastery garden, meditating in silence as the gentle ripples of the water mirrored the tranquility of their minds. One day, as Siddharth sat by the lotus pond, he experienced a moment of profound clarity. He realized that the secret to mastering the art of mindful living lay not in the pursuit of enlightenment, but in the acceptance of the present moment just as it is. With this realization, Siddharth's heart overflowed with gratitude. He understood that true serenity could be found in the beauty of a single flower, the melody of a bird's song, or the gentle caress of the breeze against his skin. From that day forth, Siddharth devoted himself wholeheartedly to the practice of mindful living, embracing each moment with a sense of wonder and awe. He traveled far and wide, sharing his newfound wisdom with all who would listen, spreading the teachings of serenity and mindfulness to every corner of the world. And though Siddharth's journey was long and arduous, filled with trials and tribulations, he never wavered in his quest for truth. For he knew that the path to serenity was not an easy one, but one well worth traversing, for it led to the inner peace and contentment that he had sought all along. And so, dear reader, remember the tale of Siddharth and the Lotus Pond, and know that the secrets of serenity lie not in the distant mountains or the depths of the ocean, but within your own heart, waiting to be discovered with each mindful breath you take.
As Siddharth continued his travels, he encountered many souls yearning for guidance and enlightenment. In a bustling city, he met a merchant named Ananda, who was weighed down by the burdens of his trade and the worries of his everyday life. Ananda's days were spent haggling with customers and worrying about the fluctuating prices of goods in the market. Despite his wealth, he felt a profound emptiness gnawing at his soul, a sense that there must be more to life than the pursuit of material gain. Upon hearing of Siddharth's teachings, Ananda sought him out, eager to learn the secrets of serenity and inner peace. Siddharth welcomed him with open arms, recognizing the earnestness in Ananda's eyes and the sincerity of his desire for truth. Together, they embarked on a journey of self-discovery, exploring the depths of Ananda's mind and unraveling the layers of conditioning that had clouded his perception of reality. Through meditation and introspection, Ananda began to glimpse the true nature of his existence, transcending the limitations of his ego and embracing the boundless potential of his inner self. As they traveled together, Siddharth and Ananda encountered many challenges along the way. They faced harsh weather, treacherous terrain, and hostile encounters with bandits and wild animals. Yet through it all, their bond only grew stronger, fueled by a shared sense of purpose and a mutual commitment to their spiritual journey. One day, as they rested by the banks of a shimmering river, Ananda confided in Siddharth about the doubts and fears that still lingered in his heart. Despite his progress on the path of mindfulness, he found himself struggling to let go of the attachments that bound him to his old way of life. Siddharth listened intently to Ananda's words, his heart brimming with compassion. He knew that the journey to enlightenment was not an easy one, and that even the most dedicated seeker would encounter obstacles along the way. With gentle guidance and unwavering support, Siddharth helped Ananda confront his fears and doubts, guiding him back to the path of mindfulness and self-awareness. Together, 